In our continuing Boomtown coverage tonight, we are exploring growth across the region and the challenges that come with it and the solutions. As Spokane knows, growth isn't always a good thing. That is the situation with the city's growing unhoused population and the continued discussions about what to do about it. Tonight, Krem 2 Shannon Mowdy looks at a piece of the puzzle, the future of Spokane's largest shelter. Hi. 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 Just days before its expiration, Spokane City Council hastily extended a contract for Spokane's largest homeless shelter. The December vote keeps the Trent shelter running month by month until the end of April. The new contract with Salvation Army comes with a price tag of nearly $4 million. I'm ready to move this next chapter and start fresh for a new uh, contract. But a little over two months out from that new deadline, it's still unclear where the city stands on moving forward with track. Mayor Lisa Brown has said it's not a best practice. Just too large with too many people in one place. The 11th hour extension came after a summer of controversy. In July, the city put out a request for proposals for an operator at track. That process stalled a couple months later when then Mayor Nadine Woodward's administration paused awarding the contract, citing a lack of funding. Krem2 News reached out to multiple city leaders to ask specifically when the process would restart. We were told the administration was still in talks with partners on how it should be done. And so we're looking at a transition, but what the timeline is for that, I don't know. We have to go in and do some evaluations of services that are being provided. Are they meeting the contract? Are these services still needed? We don't know that. In December, the shelter dealt with an outbreak of Shigella. Brown says tracks 300 plus person capacity makes it nearly impossible to keep up to sanitation standards. Council President Betsy Wilkerson wants more information and transparency like many of her council colleagues. There's so much it still feels like that the public doesn't know, and those are things that should show up into a contract. Council members have long lamented the lack of transparency in track's budget under both the Guardians Foundation and Salvation Army. Wilkerson says conversations are happening with other providers, but there are a limited number that could handle such a large contract. Crim2 News reached out to the Salvation Army to ask if they'd submit an RFP to keep running track. We were told there are no updates. Dylan says he's looking forward to some update whenever that happens. Uh, what this plan looks like to wind down track, um, what it looks like for a potential new RFP, and uh, the future. Shannon Mowdy, Crim2 News.